As African countries feel the heat from the global economic shocks as a result of rising inflation, ports as a vital part of the supply chain, it is thought could in part solve the continent's trade and connectivity challenges. We start off in Djibouti. Let's take the example Djibouti, Uganda. How far Uganda is from the sea? We are offering the Great Lake countries the third corridor. Dar es Salaam, Mombasa, what they call the central, central corridor. corridor, and the north corridor to the Red Sea. So we need to go from Ethiopia, the roads already built, through South Sudan, Elegu, to go to Uganda, Yay! to go to Central African Republic. There are 308 ports in the whole world, and the latest World Bank report has ranked Dollary Container Terminal number 19 in the whole world and number one in Sub-Saharan Africa. It sits on the Red Sea and has a depth of 18 to 20. It doesn't happen in Durban, not even on Mombasa port waters. So that's the capacity. They call it handling generation of vessels. Consequently, reducing congestion and delays should give the region's manufacturing companies a competitive edge. In terms of delivery of the cargo, we are delivering uh, the container in less than one hour. It means that the truck, as soon as they get in to our terminal, they can discharge two containers and we can load two containers in less than one hour. If we compare to Africa, it's uh, more than four hours. So, this will give you an efficiency of service delivery. This expansion and digitization of port infrastructure should, according to experts, reduce the old age problem of inefficiency of operations. One of the biggest challenges is that our logistic cost was very high because gas has to come through ISO tanks from Dubai or any other places like from South Africa or maybe from Saudi Arabia. When it comes in bulk, the logistic cost is going to be reduced significantly, close to like 50%, so people will afford it. And plus, this is an environmental friendly product. Even then, countries such as Uganda, Djibouti, Ethiopia are channeling billions of dollars into the development of free trade zones to expand export activity and already attracting regional investors. So through two times of consolidation and our sea air uh, freight solution, the logistic, logistics cost huh, would drop to a reasonable level. This is our opportunity. Yeah, we, we can create for the country. This free zone you can find it uh, in uh, some infrastructure already built on you can rent it warehouses, offices, on uh, you can take the land as an open yard or you, you we can provide also the land or you can be, you can develop by yourself your own infrastructure like warehousing like uh, open yard storage. To date ports are gateways for 80 percent of global merchandise trade by volume and 70% by value, home to key ports. Africa is racing against time, reducing the inflationary effects of weak transport and logistics infrastructure. And according to the recent World Bank report, Djibouti is leading this fight.